This is the brand new Canon RF 150-500mm f4.5-7.1 to lens for cameras like the EOS R and of course the brand new EOS R5 and R6. Now the actual construction of this lens is very similar to the RF 70-200mm with a lot of the same technology as well. So things like the UD lenses, the super UD lens and ACS coating to suppress flare and ghosting. Now that lens was fantastic. It was a really, really nice lens. And this seems to be shaping up in very much the same way. It is a pre-production lens, so we weren't able to take it out and about and really try it out properly. But certainly from having a little bit of time with it, it does seem to be very, very nice indeed. It's also the second lens in the Canon range to have two nano USM motors, along with, of course, the RF 70 to 200. And that makes the autofocus extremely fast and quiet as well. It's perfect for when you spot a bird in flight or a deer in the distance and you need to nail that shot. Now it sits very nicely on the front of a camera like the EOS R6 and in keeping with the weight reduction of the RF system, it's actually lighter than the EF 100-400mm, making it easier to shoot handheld even though it's got that extra reach as well. Now another thing that makes handheld shooting easier is the image stabilization. You've got dual sensing IS using the image sensors information and the gyros in the lens. And that means that using this with something like the new R5 gives you six stops of IS at 500 millimeters, which really, really helps with camera shake. So let's talk a little bit about image quality. Now this is an extremely versatile zoom lens. 100 millimeters is actually really usable for all kinds of things. And being able to punch in all the way to 500 mil is fantastic. It means you can certainly use this as sports or wildlife, but also a huge number of other things as well. And the actual image quality from the lens is really, really nice. It gives you these nice sharp images and the bokeh in the background is beautiful as well. So let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is the aperture, because I think it's really important. It's listed as a maximum aperture of f7.1, but it's actually f5.6 at 400 mil. So if you were thinking about this in terms of the 100 to 400, you are going to be using f5.6 at 400 millimeters, so you're not forced to use f7.1. So it's very comparable there, but with that extra 100 millimeters, obviously there's just a little bit of a stop down there, but that's actually only about two thirds of a stop anyway. And with cameras like the R5 and the R6, you can bump up that ISO without really worrying too much about it. Now, one of the other factors we should talk about here is the price. This is not a cheap lens, but there are definitely reasons for that. So as I mentioned before, this is a well-constructed lens. You can feel that as soon as you pick it up. You know, it's lighter than the EF 100-400, but it feels extremely well-made. And in fact, it's both dust and splash-proof as well. Now, those nano USM motors inside the lens really help with the AF. It makes it so good. And when combined with the AF performance, of something like the new R5 and the R6, this really is something special. It's also got multiple types of exotic lens elements, which helps give that fantastic final image and stands out to being used with a high resolution camera like the R5. Now on the image quality front, it doesn't suffer much at all from things like distortion or vignetting. So in short, yeah, it's not the cheapest lens out there, but this is a very versatile pro level lens capable of delivering top results. Now, if you have any questions about the lens at all, let us know down in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe and all the fun stuff we tell you to do on YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.